I'm really excited about this project today, even though I don't really know how to play the ukulele. All I wanna do is see you turn into a giant woman. I wanna learn that song. I really, really wanna learn that song. This isn't even tuned yet. <laughs> All I want to be is someone who can see a giant woman. Oh, I feel so awkward when I sing. Is that even how it goes? What's your favorite Steven Universe song? Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today we're doing something a little different. Instead of making a DIY project from scratch, we're going to be using a DIY ukulele kit to make a Steven Universe replica ukulele. I got this uh, on my last trip back up to San Francisco, and I figured when I saw it, I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to make this, and I was kind of hoping to get this out before Steven Bomb 30, but it's just gonna come out about a week or two later. So hopefully you guys can make this project. If not, enjoy this cool little uh, ukulele uh, tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a DIY ukulele kit. I'll have links to this in the description below. Painter's tape, butcher paper, wood glue, some fine grit sandpaper, clear coat paint brushes, and some acrylic paint. Today we're using rose, yellow, and dark yellow. Using your sandpaper, you want to gently smoothen out any of the rough parts that might have been left over on your ukulele. It should be pretty smooth, but this will allow you to smoothen out any of those parts that were left behind. Even though the DIY ukulele came with its own instructions, we're going to be moving around and skipping some of the steps just because we're going to be creating a slightly different design for this Steven Universe ukulele. To create the template for your design, you want to first take your ukulele base and trace it out onto a piece of paper. This will allow you to create the design for your ukulele before you actually draw it out onto the base. For the design of your ukulele, you could either design something that's exactly like the Steven Universe ukulele, or you can freehand it and draw something that's just similar to it. I found some pictures online and decided to just freehand something that kind of looked like the Steven Universe ukulele. Once you finalize the design of your ukulele, go ahead and cut out the pieces so that you have something to trace out for your ukulele. You're going to take each piece and you're going to lightly trace it out so that the design is on your ukulele. Go ahead and trace it out on the front and on the back. Before you paint your ukulele, you're going to take some butcher paper and you're going to stuff the inside with the paper. This will protect the inside of your uke from any potential paint spills. Since I'm not painting the sides of the ukulele, I'm using some blue painter's tape to protect the sides of the ukulele. When you're painting your ukulele, take your time to put everything together. I usually like to use the lighter colors first before moving on to the darker colors so that the lighter colors have a chance to dry out before you paint over them with anything else. For this project, you want to use a small brush since it's going to help you create all the really curvy parts of your design. To get the sharper details of your ukulele, you want to wait for the paint to dry before painting the next color. This will allow you to have a better range of control so that the colors actually stand out. After the paint has dried on your ukulele, follow the instructions in your DIY ukulele kit to attach the handle of your ukulele to the base with some wood glue. To ensure that the handle stays in place, you want to use either some blue tape or some ribbon to hold it down while the glue dries. You want to make sure that the glue dries overnight or to the proper curing time based on your wood glue. Once the glue and the paint have completely dried, you're going to apply a light layer of clear coat to give your uke a nice shine and to finalize your design. As an optional step, I rolled up some small pieces of paper to protect the holes of the handle and added some blue tape to where I was going to glue the bridge. This way, I won't get any clear coat in areas that I don't want clear coat in. After you've applied your clear coat and it's completely dried, remove the protective butcher paper. As a final step, remove any protective pieces like the paper and the blue tape, and then follow the instructions in your DIY ukulele kit to attach all the other remaining parts onto your ukulele, like the bridge and all the other pieces. Prior to this video, I never really knew how to put a string onto a ukulele or a guitar, and I actually had to look up on YouTube how to put this onto the uke. So you guys can probably check that out on another channel. Um, this is the first time that I've actually used a DIY kit of any kind to actually put something together, and I'm really glad that it turned out really cool to be super similar to the Steven Universe ukulele. Um, I don't really play any instruments, 
uh, outside of the bass drum back in high school, but I do want to learn how to play the ukulele now that I've made this cool little Steven Universe uke. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys play any instruments. I'm always interested to know a little bit more about you guys. And if you guys are interested in knowing a little bit more about me, make sure to check out my last video, which was the time lapse number three video. And there's a little Q&A part over there that I'm going to introduce in a new video in a few weeks. Also, check out our other last project, which was the Star Wars um, foam noodle lightsaber. And yeah. Hopefully you guys had fun making this project. If you guys do make this project, I'd be super impressed just because it means you went out there and got a ukulele and made it so that it looks like this one. Uh, if you do that, make sure you share it with me either on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag. And other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out how to tune this uke and play some really cool Steven Universe music. Thanks again for watching Get Crafty Crafty. Come back next time and stay crafty. All I wanna do is see you turn into a giant woman, a giant woman. All I wanna be is someone who can see a giant woman. I, I can't even play the song. <laughs>